This is week 181 of HRT, and um, not very much physical changes have happened, but I noticed my leg hair is a little bit thinner, um, and I wanted to um, show you my measurements, like R. Um, as of today, um, it's because, um, my measurements from like a few months ago compared to now I hope they have changed. It's like down here, um, because recently I, um, was wearing my, it's like my black and gray the maxi skirt the way it was listed online was um it was listed like as a gothic steampunk like alternative like a cyberpunk kind of a dress like a maxi dress but when I was wearing it the last time it was like I could really see my hips so I remeasured everything and my hips actually I have gone up in size so yeah both part of my hip you can see I'm not sure if you can see that but it's 34 and a half inches and my lower waist is has it's at 29 my upper waist is 27 um, my band measurement, yeah, my band measurement, um, is 32, let's see here, um, there we go. To make sure it's straight or it's a give you the wrong measurement. It's 32. You can see that. Um, and my bust measurement. See that? You can see it's thirty six inches. That means, um, and I don't, um, I because you know the way the bras are these days, um. The way they used to be, the band didn't stretch out. So you do the plus four plus five method, or however it was done back then, but now don't do that. Because I, um, because right, like the under bust measures 32, and you do the four or five method, because that's an even number, so I'd add four. That would make it, um, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. That'll be saying my band size is 36. Um, and my band size is not 36. Um, I have issues with the size 34 in the past. Um, band size 34. So yeah. And the cup size, like the, the cup size is relevant to the band size. So that's 36 and of the each um, inch above the band size is a cup size so 32 would be an AA then that would be 33, 34, 35, 36 that would be A, B, C, and D 
That'll make me a D cup, so. And if you look at how my body looks, um, you see that, um, they don't look very big. Um, they're still like on the medium side. They're not large, but they're more on like the medium side, but still, or some smalls I can wear like my, um, like if you look, because the shape, it's my self bra cami, you can see that there's that gap right here due to the shape of my breast and because I'm wearing a self bra cami, not a regular bra, so it's, um, doesn't look very big, so it's still mostly towards the smaller side like medium small side so even though my breasts don't look like a d cup it's the band cup size rather than the band size and yeah and it's like the rest of the girls in the family like my family that breasts are on the smaller side they all practically look the same almost like especially like my sisters like my half sisters her breasts when she's not wearing a push-up bra well what happened was she gained weight I'm not gonna go into detail on that but she gained weight then she lost weight and when she lost that weight she's back to like normal healthy weight where she's supposed to be um, I don't want to go into more detail on that but how you can see like the breast how they change and everything um like her breasts and my breasts like looking at her and she's um still not done de developing yet she's not 25 it's like usually when you're 25 is when you stop developing and everything but it's like going through my transition how i'm changing watching my sister how growing up how she's been changing and everything it's like as I seen like her breasts and my breasts pretty much look the same um the same circumference even though she wants hers um bigger I don't think that's gonna happen um uh, anytime soon um like if you compare them it's like they look like the same circumference and she doesn't really want to admit it but I think just by looking you can tell her band size it should be a 32 so we're pretty much roughly the same circumference I'm just not sure what her measurements are so I couldn't say for sure comparing to my sister and comparing it to me um, so other than that um that's just interesting because well my doctor said was um when my breasts are done growing they're gonna be a cup size smaller than hers then she said when your breasts are done growing there will be a cup size smaller than your sister's and looking at my sisters and looking at mine they pretty much look the same so I don't get why she's saying that mine would be a cup size smaller which is my breasts have grown a lot since then I mean a lot like two cup sizes I should say since then so and they're not done growing they've been like hurting a little not it's like really bad but just very little has been hurting and um little itchiness but not to the point where it's like every day it's just like maybe here or there like when it's not going through a girl's cycle it's just sometimes it's like here or there depending on hormone fluctuation that's pretty much yeah what they're doing right now so other than that um 
the rats haven't done much changing. They can tell they're fuller, which is I'm happy with that. Um, as long as they can get a lot bigger and fuller where I can comfortably wear a 32D, I'll be happy there. So, yeah. So other than that, um, no other physical changes like my arms. That's what the muscles look like. Um, another thing I noticed was my um, butt sticks out, which is, you know, like when you're wearing a corset and have a bustle on, like how the if I stand like in perfect posture, how you can see that I have the back curves right here, the low, my lower back out curves. You can see that um. Like if you have a corset on and it curves right here, then if you have to have a bustle on now, it looks bigger. But if you look at my body at like that shape already, my mom doesn't believe me. You can actually see in the video. I'm not purposely making it do that. That's just standing in perfect posture. You can see it's automatically goes that shape so yeah that's just my body and how it is and I can't change that um it's like if you look at my body from the front and like the sides like the back um and everything you see because like from a few months ago compared to now um I can see that there been a change because my waist I noticed went up in size like my lower waist went up in size my hips have gone up half an inch and in, in turn my bust bust has gone up an inch since then so it's like when one thing went up like everything else went up but my hips went up half an inch instead of a full inch so that's what's interesting. If my hips do go up another half an inch, I'd be happy because that's how like clothing sizing is based off of. It's those feminine curves and everything um, for us girls. Um, and if my hips do go up the half an inch, clothing would fit a little bit better, a lot better. So and I'm just hoping if that goes up half an inch, everything else goes up probably an inch, everything else would go up. So um, as long as I stay 118 pounds, um, I'll be happy if everything else goes up in inches, especially my breasts, if they ended up going to the double D. Um, I'd still look good and yeah. If I was the double, I still would look good. So yeah, um, it's because my ultimate push-up bra. Yeah, my red one. When I wear that, it makes my breasts a double D. So, and I still look good. So even though they still look like they're on the smaller side, or more towards medium, which is I'm on the. It's hard depending on the clothing and the brand. I run from a small to a medium, maybe a large or an extra large, depending on how they measure everything. So it's like my maxi dress is a large and it fits tight. So yeah, depends on the brand. So it's like my self bra cami I'm wearing now um, has the uh, like bra like cups. But the rest of the um, band is more like a sports bra or a bandeau or like one of those self bra camis that just like the strip fabric just going around like that with the elastic going around. That's more like that going around the back here. And this is the cups like with the wire. So yeah. And this is a small. And I have tried on a medium, but it's a different brand, so 
small fits better but before I, my breasts were this big um, this cami wasn't fitting properly so like girl clothes are based on the feminine curves that's why um, I want my breasts just to be where I can wear a D cup get a little bit fuller permanently where I can just wear a D cup which is I still haven't tried on a D cup the closest I could try on was a 34B which is a 34B would be the same circumference as a 32D because if because like the cup size room with the band size so if you think about that 34, 35, 36 A, B because it's still 36 inches around and the um, 32 would be a D 32, 33, 34, 35, 36 A, B, C, D, C it's still the same circumference because it's the same inches so that's the best I could try on some fit, some don't just like right now, some C cups fit, some don't. Because like some of the C cups I have in the 32C, they're more full coverage, but the cups actually are either let's see here, two to three sizes bigger, it seems like. It's either two or three sizes bigger in circumference. I think it's more like two sizes bigger than I am. So it doesn't fit. So the one bras that's on the smaller cups in my size, like D cups that the circumference in the cup um, is less, like fabric and everything, fit would fit better than like in a C cup, the same thing. So it could be a C, D, somewhere like that. Um, I know that would fit much better so I just have to um, go and try some on even if I don't buy anything um, which is I probably would if I went and tried something on end up buying something on sale yeah um, other than that um, I'm happy with my feminine curves and everything better than towards the beginning of my transitions like if you look at my first video um, like my first few videos like like the first couple of months or so if you find a video where I'm standing or you can see my body how it was like boyish you can compare it to like now how it's um all these curves and everything proportionate curves um i am a lot happier with that um i hate that boy shape especially on me um so you can see the smile on my face about that um yes i have dimples um yeah, that shape is what I really, 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 really like about myself. Um, how it's not boyish anymore, and I do not want to go back to that boyish shape ever again. Um, it's just, it just makes me not feel good about myself. But being, um like the girl's shape yeah I'm happy um I still um it's like my leg hair seems like it has decreased other than that I'm all the physical changes but sperm has decreased um sex drive has gone down other than that no other physical changes um I still want a girlfriend so um, if any of you do live in Utah who watch my videos if you're interested or if you know someone 
Um, I'm attracted to redheads, smaller bust that looks like um, like around like a band size 32, around like from a I should say A cup to at least a C cup. A small A, B, or C, like a, on the small side, like a small A, small B, or small C. Even though I'm attracted to small breasts, I'm not attracted to as much to an AA as much as an A, B, or C, but like a 32 B or a C is what I'm more attracted to, but on the smaller side. So, yeah, I'm not attracted to large breasts at all, so just who I am and yeah so if you know of anyone or if you're interested and you live in the um West Valley Salt Lake City or surrounding cities and if you're interested um private message me or if you just want to hang out because I'm wanting to look for more people to hang out with um Just so more people would know about me, so it's not as awkward. So, yeah, around people. So, if you know of anyone who's looking for someone to be in a relationship, or if you're interested, or just want to hang out, private message me here on YouTube, then I'll get back as soon as I can. So, yeah. And the only thing I wanted to show was, um, how I mentioned in a different video, the dress I was going to make. I'm going to finish it, I would show it. Um, it's not finished yet, but yeah, um, what I've done was I took the, um, the top part. Okay, here's the top part of it. Took the shirt, like this, the pattern on the shirt and color and everything. But it's like right where the sleeve is. It's where I cut it. It's like where I cut it. A year straight across. So, um, I had to cut the pocket off because it was in the way. So, this is what I have so far. I pinned it on the inside out so that, um, I could get at more accurate across right here. And I just sewed and cut off, the, I cut off the excess fabric and sewed it up. So this is um, let's do this first. Yeah. So if you look um, only like right here where this is, because that's where I stopped sewing it. Um, that's where I left it. So it's these top three buttons. Um. If you look at that, um, because that's where I wanted the um, dress to be more high, like the bottom part to be more high waisted. So if you look at it, um, it's what it so far would look like. It'd be more something like up, like that, something, yeah. And I want to take the excess fabric here and take um some go about from evenly from here not all the way to the end but from like evened out through here going all the way around as like a collar like my evanescent shirt how it has a collar i want to um and also the straps i want to have the straps braided so It'll be all sewn in together. So it'll be like a collar with braided straps. That'll be the top part of the um, dress. And the bottom part of the dress, um, I want to have, I was thinking about either buying a skirt, and if I did buy a skirt, I'd buy two skirts. So I can use one skirt skirt for the dress and one skirt just as the skirt. If I could find one that's high waisted. Um, another reason why I stopped it right 
the top part of it where I stopped sewing because I wanted to be like high waisted in that spot so and also so when it get either get fabric that's, I haven't get enough fabric or get a skirt and then I was thinking about having, getting high waisted skirt that's um See how this skirt is, how it has all this room and everything, have it like that. Um, yeah. Have it like that. So uh, that's w one thing I was thinking on. Um, if I have uh, up high waisted up to here. And the reason why I left that extra stuff on there for now and didn't finish the rest of the top of it is because. I need to know where the skirt's gonna fit or the fabric if I decide to get fabric. If it's gonna sit here or a little bit lower here, I still have that excess fabric on there. Cause it's easier to take off than put on. And I was thinking of having it a dark green color, something like this. If you can see. <laughs> yeah, if you look at it. How that works together yeah because think of having that dark green color if you look at that dark green color so that's where I'm at with the dress right now I just have to figure out what I'm gonna do with the bottom part getting either a skirt or fabric but I'm thinking it'll be cheaper to get a skirt than fabric so yeah other than that um nothing really much has changed there's and the other thought I was having um I still want to have kids I want a baby girl of my own that's been a thought that's been on my mind lately. Just every now and then. It's always on my mind. Um, which is, I want to get pregnant. Which is, I can't just get pregnant and everything. Which is from some of the research that I've done. I mentioned in a different video how um, that can happen. Because they have taken wasn't in the United States, it was in a different country. They, um, the guy was pregnant. What they had to do was put the egg with the sperm all the, already together. They implanted it outside because men don't have uteruses, so it's outside a uterus. So I'm not sure exactly where they stuck it, but the baby was brought to term and everything, and they had to have C section and whatnot. So and it was successful and everything. They both lived. Can't remember. It was somewhere online where I read the study that was done on that. Um, so it is possible for me to get pregnant that way. And what I've heard was, from what I've read, the research was, you can turn an egg from someone's egg into someone else's DNA. By taking the nucleus out and taking someone's sperm and putting it in like the DNA from it in place of the nucleus so when the um, egg is fully developed it's 100% the DNA from the person's whose sperm that was used so that could help us trans women be able to have a biological egg like it wouldn't be biological in a sense but it'd be an egg that has 100% our DNA so yeah then it would have to be implanted outside a uterus or a uterus implanted just for that nine months and taken out after the c-section and everything at that same time so yeah um hopefully that can happen because if we can they do more with that research and everything, it will help us trans women be able to have kids without having to father a child. 
because I don't want to father a child. I want to mother a child. Another feeling is I have been having. I want to mother a child, but I don't want to have anyone to be the father for some reason. But someone would have to be the father, which is that would be okay. Um. Other than that, um, it's kind of thoughts I've been having, because I want a baby girl of my own. Um, sorry for the video going long, but I want a baby girl of my own, and I've wanted to be a mommy. These are the exact words. I want to be a mommy since 2006, because like in. Because it was back 2006 and the first month of 2007 was when I started writing on like a journal type thingy down. Um, but I stopped at the beginning of 2007. Um, but when the things are written down, and I still remember it like it was yesterday, like I want to be a mommy. Um, and that still hasn't changed. It's just. I didn't know for sure until 2012 is when I really knew for sure when um, it's because taking the prescriptions decreased the sperm and everything and I was like that's when I really realized because how decreased the sperm was it made me realize I wanted children it's like once you get to that point where it's almost impossible to have kids then you realize what you want more than anything. Yeah, that's what happened. So, well, other than that, um, it's just the thoughts that I have lately. Um, sorry for the video going wrong. Um, still haven't done a blog yet, but I'm going to. Um, so, until next time, comment, rate, and subscribe. You click that link down there to um, check out my blog. It's the link's down there.